Vanessa Joy here with Shutter Mag, and we are going over word of mouth. Now, I do suggest that you pick up this edition of Shutter Mag and read the article that I have in there for you. It has a lot of ideas and, of course, clarification on what word of mouth actually is. As long as I've been teaching, it's a cliche saying. Everybody says that. Uh, you know, what's the best way to get business? Oh, word of mouth. What's the number one reason customers get to you, find you? Oh, word of mouth. But what does it actually mean to work on generating that word of mouth marketing? That's what I want to talk to you about because it's nice to know that word of mouth is great. It's nice to even get a lot of people that are talking about word of mouth. But if you want to really put some marketing strategy towards it, what does that mean? What do you have to do? One of the ways that I talked about in the article is all about how to be more than just a photographer. When you go and buy something from a store and you just get your purchase and you walk out, there's nothing to talk about. There's no experience. There's nothing to write home about. Congratulations, you bought something or even Amazon shipped it to you, right? But when do you actually start talking about that, that purchase or that store? It's either A, when something bad happens, really easy to start talking about it then, or B, and that's one and two, not A and B, or two, when something extraordinary happens. And what does extraordinary actually mean? Extra, ordinary, something outside of the ordinary role of a photographer, that's your goal. So what does that mean? That might mean you spoil your clients with extra attention, extra emails. Maybe you're going above and beyond communicating to them, helping them. Maybe you're a psychologist the day of the wedding. I don't know what it is. Maybe you're giving them outfit ideas and Pinterest boards and ways to look best in your photos. It can be a ton of different things, but ultimately it's about going above and beyond. Then they have something to talk about. What else can word of mouth mean? I started to allude to this before I was talking about spoiling your clients. Now I first mentioned communication and getting to them that way, but here's another way you can spoil your clients monetarily. Well, I don't mean actually giving them money. That's awkward. They're supposed to give you money, but gifts, right? One of the love languages. I love to give my client gifts and I was doing a pretty good job at it until somebody told me I wasn't actually doing a good job at it. I started talking to Ivana over at giftingmade.com and she completely changed my perspective on gifting. So initially I was giving my clients cute gifts, a little dating book before they got married or a cute little beach bag with my logo on it. But it turns out I was doing it all wrong. I was spoiling my clients with things that almost seemed self-serving. After all, my logo was on it. She corrected me and now we are sending things that aren't all about me. In fact, my logo isn't on them at all. They're all about the client. My thank yous back and posts on social media have quadrupled probably. It's been so much better because I've shifted my focus into being marketing minded for that extra word of mouth and being customer focused. Ultimately, when you are customer focused, that's going to lead to all sorts of word of mouth because you truly care about what it is they're experiencing with you and what it is that they think of you well, for good or bad, I guess on that last one. One of the easiest ways to create a good experience with your clients is to do the classic under promise and over deliver. So if the proofs are going to be ready in, I don't know, four ish weeks after all, if you're using an editing system, I imagine they will be ready in less time than that. And then you will give the clients their pictures a little bit sooner so that, Hey, they have something to be happy about, excited about, their pictures got ready sooner. The last thing I wanna mention about word of mouth and creating word of mouth is discover any possible way that you can be convenient. Convenience, especially in the society that we're in today, is almost valued above time, if that makes sense, because it's right there on the same parallel, not more, but it's on the same parallel. Time is irreplaceable. You can't buy more of it. You get what you get and convenience, which frees up the time of your clients is just as highly valued. So find ways that you can be convenient. Maybe that means you're up for a video chat whenever, or 
you answer them whenever they message you on Instagram versus send you an email where you would prefer all of your client contact be. Maybe it's something like, I don't know, helping them with their family list, whatever it is, find a way to be convenient for them and that's gonna give them something to talk about. That's your goal, right? Word of mouth, find ways to go above and beyond, give them something to talk about and don't let it be something bad. <laughs> I'm Vanessa Joy here for Shuttermag and I will see you next time. Bye.